Adam Weiner with Fansided here with Dennis Quaid. Uh, and Dennis, we are here talking about the long game, which is about a real life South Texas underdog golf story uh, back in the 50s. What can you tell us about the story and why you fell in love with it? Well, it's where did this story come from? Why I hadn't been done before? You know, it's true. It's a true story. I mean, that's what, I love doing true stories because if you try to if you, if it was fiction, no one would believe it. That's that's the thing. But there was these five uh, Chicano kids down on the you know that, that lived down on the border between Mexico and and uh, the United States back in the 1950s during a time of segregation and and discrimination and they were caddies at this golf club and they were good golfers but they could not play at this club where the, you know where they worked because of the color of their skin they built their own golf course out in the desert and uh there was like one hole with several ways to come to it and they started the a golf team in in high school and they won the state championship their very first year at the country club where they couldn't play. How much training went into getting the golf scenes right in this one? And how did it compare maybe to working on your baseball mechanics for the rookie? Yeah, it's hitting a baseball and hitting a golf ball are probably the two hardest things in sport. You know, one advantage that a golfer has is because the ball is still, it's not moving at 90 miles an hour. But uh, and uh, but golfers don't get to uh, they have to play their foul balls. <laughs> yeah, very slightly different. Uh, of course, as you mentioned, this is not your first sports movie. You played Jim Morris, the Devil Rays. You starred in The Express. You played Dick Vermeil. Uh, when it comes to starring in iconic sports movies, you've done it all. Would you rather play the coach or the athlete? Well, I've done both, and. Uh... That's a good question, actually, because I always want to play, you know. So I guess it's the athlete, but uh, this case I'm a little too old for that. But uh, it's sports movies; they have to be about something in order to be successful, other than the sport itself. You know, the rookie uh, was not about baseball; it was about second chances in life, and that's what people relate to. I think. And that's why it, that movie has such great emotion and it relates to people. And it was uh, really interesting and, and fantastic because Jay Hernandez was one of my student athletes uh, in The Rookie, uh, you know, I'm on my team. And now he's playing the coach, which is yeah. uh, the long game. So it was it was great to have a reunion with him that way. Yeah, well, a completely full circle moment. Uh, another one of your student athletes uh, in the Express, you got to work with Chadwick Boseman as a young actor. Yeah. Uh, what could you tell about him even then as as such a young potential future star? Well, that's, that's you know, they have something special that they, that they bring to just stand out as an individual, you know, because you're always playing yourself some some degree you know and you got to be driven and he definitely was it's pretty obvious i'd love to touch on your personal fandoms and sports experience a little bit uh specifically i know that you're a proud houston cougar we just went through march madness yeah did, did duke deserve to win that game after jamal of course they did they won it <laughs> so you call That's... it a fair fight and you just say it, Good it's a it's you know they they won it so that's that's the way it goes i mean march madness is so crazy and uh you know houston was right there for a while but that's the way it goes yeah i i, I agree with you but i had to had to touch on it uh as as a child what were your original sports fandoms and, and the sports that you played growing up i mean I, you mentioned hitting a baseball, and hitting a golf ball are probably the two toughest things. Did you have a lot of experience with both of those as a younger man? Uh, no, I hated golf. Actually, my dad tried to get me into it. Uh, and I didn't really like it because it was so slow. And at the time, and, but so, uh, I, I went through rehab for, uh, what I call cocaine school. And when I got out, I needed something to obsess over at, at the age of 36. So I took up golf. 
has it uh has it been tougher i mean you had to you to play with a lot of old fashioned equipment in the long game and so if you're yeah you know if you're used to modern golf and you picked it up at 36 was it difficult to translate your skills to playing with all that old fashioned equipment well there's movie magic and we weren't keeping score so <laughs> <laughs> fantastic yeah uh, as somebody who has had such a varied career in sports movies, uh, I had to ask, you know, have you ever had to play a coach or a player on a team that in real life you hated, like maybe Syracuse or the Rams? And and did you handle it better than Affleck wearing the Yankees hat and Gone Girl? <laughs> uh, no, I, uh, I, I, I don't really have any hate in my heart for any sports team. So like they do on the East coast, I guess they, they have a lot of that, but uh, so I don't really, uh, I, I, you know, Syracuse was just fine. The characters that, that I played that, you know, the, the achievements these guys had and they had interesting lives. Finally, I'll wrap with this. Um, you've made some legendary cameos over the years in Andy Cohen's Clubhouse Playhouse on Bravo. Uh, would you ever return to performing in that vein? And do you have any specific characters that you'd like to play? Uh, I think you just throw me any character. That'd be fine. I love Andy Cohen. I uh, love, uh, you know, I watch just about every Housewives wrap up that their reunion there is. He's great. It's good to know who's a real fan and who's just like in it and, and along for the ride. So it's good to know that you really, you really watch. Well, partly along for the ride because, you know, of my wife, of course, you know, and, but along in that ride, you, like I say, uh, I, I'm really interested in what makes people tick and you, sh you see some real stuff watching housewives. Fantastic. Maybe we'll see you on there again soon. Dennis Quaid, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. You bet. It. Take care.